Hey there everybody in YouTube land. Uh, welcome to video two of my uh, Fairfield Jumbo Baseball Box. Um, I'll do a series of these. I have a lot of these. I've opened 12 already and the first 12 videos I've already opened them and went through them. Um, once I get to video 13 it'll be more of a live opening. Um, Again, these are sold at Walgreens for $4.99. You get uh, 100 cards plus an uh, unopened pack uh, anywhere from the late 80s to early 90s. It's kind of the junk wax era cards. Um, cards range from uh, early 80s. I've seen 81 and I think up to about 2014 are the more recent ones. Um, I'm not going to read uh, every card off, but I will mention a couple favorites, a couple Hall of Famers, and um, I'm always looking for uh, people to tell me who the good rookies are that I have and uh, who I don't know about. I'm kind of reconnecting with uh, the baseball card hobby. Uh, this is what the box looks like. Um, for those of you that are avid collectors, you probably know what that pack is. I, however, don't. I haven't bought baseball cards and probably 30 years. Um, so when I get to the end of this, you'll see uh, my my pack, which is already open, but I'll point that out as I'm going through the video. I'm just gonna shuffle through the cards and uh, just give you an idea of what this product is. I think it's an awesome product. One in four boxes gets a hit. Um, they're namely uh, rookie autographs of some of you probably never heard of. Um, they also have relic cards. Um, I have yet to get a relic, but um, hope you enjoy this video. I think it's a great product for five bucks. Can't go wrong. Here's a rookie card, Jay Bruner. I'll make that a little bigger for you. Sorry about that. You can see that you get a large selection of tops, Fleer, Upper Deck, once in a while a little Peachy, Bowman. Um, to me, uh, compared to the cards when I was a kid, these cards are all nice looking cards. With the exception of these 91 Fleer. Boy, that was a train wreck. Some cool rookie cards. Again, Kent Herbeck, I'm a huge uh, Twins fan, was a big Twins and Mets fan growing up, even though I'm from Wisconsin. Um, I did like, uh, I do like the Brewers too, especially now that they're in the National League. For those of you that don't know, the Brewers used to be in the American League with the Twins. Um, same division. Um, so when they went to the National League, which was a good move on their part, um, Kind of made it a little easier to root for them. There's Dante Bichette. He had a good, decent career. Gary Pettis was a longtime player. Steve Bedrosian, he had some good, good years in there. Uh, uh, once in a while, I'll pull these out of the way, otherwise they get too tippy. And like I said, there's a hundred cards to go through, so. Um, you get your fair mix of uh, star players, few Hall of Famers, um, a lot of rookies, namely ones you've never heard of. Uh, but I've heard of people getting uh, Bryce Harper rookie cards out of here. Um, 
I just enjoy looking at these cards. Like, I, I've never seen this card before. That's a nice looking card. What is that? Um, Top Series 2, 2000. Let's say 2018. Oh, that's very recent. Uh, there's a there's a hit. There's an autograph card for Danny Payne of the Padres. You do get some hits in here. Um, here's this Tops card. I really like these cards. I know that everybody kind of hates on the black borders because they turn white real easy, but um, that's a nice looking card to me. Sure, they're very hard to take care of. You know, what year was that? 71 or 72 tops had the black borders, and boy, to get a PSA 10 on one of those is uh, they're worth some money. But uh, people didn't collect baseball cards and take care of them like they do now. Um, so those PSA 10s are pretty hard to come by. There's an 82 Donruss. You don't see a lot of those around. <clears throat> Gypsy Queen. I haven't bought any of these Gypsy Queens yet, but I, I like that series. I, I think I will buy some of those at some point. I've noticed and uh, I've bought some older packs to for openings. You can buy those pretty cheap. The Fleer Ultra, other than they stick together, I, I think those are nice cards. Um, there's a Pirates team card from uh, 1980. That's the earliest I've seen yet, 1980. Now there's a Frank Viola. You notice you get a lot of repeats. Um, if not the same card, the same player. Um, this is one of my favorite years of tops of the early years. There's, there's still kind of, there's still a little bit ugly, but um, time goes on. Here's Ron Kittle. Never amounted to a much as they thought he was. He was a big rookie's prospect and I don't know, probably 81, 82 and kind of never amounted to uh, what they thought. He had a good career with the White Sox. Speaking of White Sox, um, so here's the uh, pack that I opened up. It was a set of 1988 Fleer. Um, not a bad looking set um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Billy McGee, I'm not sure if he made the Hall of Fame. Uh, won a World Series with the Cardinals, for sure. Pretty solid player for the Cardinals when they were pretty dominant. What was that, mid-80s with Ozzie Smith and company? Um, there's a couple team checklists, Phillies and Pirates. Uh, Gary Gaetti, he was part of the uh, Twins dynasty there in the late 80s, early 90s when they won a couple World Series being, I wouldn't call them a small market team, but um, they certainly didn't spend the money and they, they kept a few players around like Herbeck and, and um, Gary Puckett and a couple pitchers, a couple pitchers a year they would, like Frank Viola and Burt Blylevin. They would uh, pay those guys okay to keep them around. That's not a bad looking card. Um, I didn't collect these. This is pretty close to right after the time I, I uh, right around the time I quit collecting. Um, these cards would have came out. There's a nice White Sox uh, sticker. So uh, I'm just sharing these sets with people and um, not sets, but cards. And I think they're, they're a great value if you haven't been collecting for the last how many years. This is kind of how you get caught up on what the cards look like. And I'll be the first to tell you, I think baseball cards look a whole lot better than what they used to. Um, and again, I'll show you. This is what the box looks like. 
I've heard other people buy these at Target. And uh, I've yet to find, my Target doesn't sell baseball cards at all. And matter of fact, the only places I can find baseball cards is um, Walmart. And I find these at Walgreens. And then um, there's a baseball shop about 20 miles from me. And they're more into the, they call them themselves a sports card shop, but they're more into the magic stuff. I, I'm sure that's where the money is at right now, but um, I'm not I'm not into the magic cards. But uh, thanks for watching. This is video two. Have a good day.